When I start in the morning, I do a rough sketch. This is a cartoon of Newt Gingrich saying, I see a day when I'm sworn in as president. I see a day when people will want to live on the moon. And this guy's saying, I'm guessing it's the same day. <laughs> so that's the rough sketch. And here's what the cartoon looked like when it ran in the paper. Now, I said I went to the conventions. And on, uh, I believe it was Wednesday night, Mitt Romney's wife gave a wonderful speech at the convention. And all I could think of is, how's Mitt going to follow this up? So he actually came out on stage that night. And I drew this cartoon. After his brief appearance with Anne, Mitt was taken off stage, oiled, disassembled, and stored until Thursday. <laughs> now, at the Democratic convention, which was a lot of fun, they're both a lot of fun for me, um, Bill Clinton made an appearance. And I just love when Bill Clinton makes an appearance because, and I'm going to show you some cartoons later involving Bill Clinton. I'm sure you can imagine where that's going. But Bill Clinton made an appearance, and here is this guy that had this tremendous success as president in terms of the economy, and here is Barack Obama, who is kind of doing the best he can, and it's not going so well. So I drew this cartoon. Bill said, now how are you going to get them all worked up with that? <laughs> now on the other hand, at the other convention, the first couple days, we got rained out because of a hurricane, so I drew this cartoon with Mitt saying, I'll release all my taxes, during the Tampa Convention, during the hurricane. <laughs> and of course, then we had the debates. So we had uh, basically a question we've heard before in debates, only this time the president was saying, oh, I apologize, that is not the cartoon I wanted to show you. This is the cartoon I want to show you. The president talking about health care, saying our health care plan includes a full body scan, but you have to go to the airport to get it. <laughs> And of course, since I live in New York now, um, whenever I see this, this next gentleman that I'm referring to in the cartoon, I, I often think, and there's going to be a cartoon in this when he bubbles up into the picture. So I drew this when, when Mitt Rhett met with Donald Trump, and this guy's saying, associating with Trump is really making you look bad. <laughs> so at the debates, one of the lines that we've heard for many years at debates came up and I thought, wow, this is really putting the president in a jam. He's saying, are you better off now than you were four years ago? And the next panel he's saying, I wish you'd stop asking me that. <laughs> but of course, Mitt's had his problems at the debates too. Recently he said, there were binders full of women. That got him in a little trouble. Now the, the, the debate before that, you know, he said he was going to fire Big Bird, and I understand Big Bird spoke here last year, and I think that's the reason I'm here. Big Bird got fired by Mitt Romney, so he got stuck with me. I kept wondering, what, what's going to happen related to Sesame Street at the vice presidential debate? So I drew this cartoon. Which Sesame Street characters will end up at that debate? Blurt and nerdy. <laughs> Thank you. The, can the candidates continue to run head to head in a very, very brutal campaign. And of course, we all know that once this election is over, everything's going to be fine in Washington. Here's a tour bus. On your left is the Museum of Modern American Political Discourse, <laughs> which doesn't make people very happy. So I drew this one called Angry Taxpayers. And we're very impatient, so I got him out the, outside of the portal. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, so I, I threw a bunch of cartoons in here about health care. I really wasn't sure how doctors feel about it. I, I just don't know how. So I just threw them in here, and you guys can laugh or boo if you wish. Anyway, here's one uh, the health care reform waiting room. This guy says, Been here long? <laughs> okay, you're not booing. It's a good sign. Uh, then the Supreme Court took up the whole health care thing, and it's sort of like, you know, half the country thinks this is some kind of a socialist takeover, and the other half thinks this is probably a good thing. So I drew this cartoon with a mom and her son. Eat your broccoli, socialist. 